Welcome to part two of our two-part demonstration on how to get started with vSphere Distributed Switch, or VDS. In part one, we covered the steps involved in creating a vSphere Distributed Switch. In part two, we demonstrate how to migrate the host and VM networking traffic over to the vSphere Distributed Switch that was created. With the Distributed Switch created, right-click on the switch and then click on Add and Manage Hosts. Select Add Hosts and click on the New Host button. Select the hosts that you wish to move over to the distributed switch. Click OK and then click Next. Select Virtual Machine Networking and click Next. Here we see all the VM NICs associated on the hosts that would be migrated. We need to move all of these NICs to our virtual distributed switch. To do this, we select these NICs one at a time. Click on the Assign Up link and click on Auto Assign. Next, we need to migrate the VM kernel NICs over to the distributed switch to ensure that we do not lose connectivity. Notice that the yellow exclamation marks on the NICs indicate this. Select each kernel NIC for traffic type and then click on Assign Port Group. Select the appropriate distributed port group and click OK. Next, we analyze the impact. We see that there is no adverse impact and we are ready to migrate. Here we select our two virtual machines and click on Assign Port Group. We select the VM Port Group and click OK. Click Next. We now review the information and click Finish. Next, we start pinging our first ESX host. Notice that changes have not been made and that we are still on the standard switch. After a while, we see that we miss a ping, and when it resumes, we are up on the distributed switch. The significance here is the minimal downtime that we faced. With just a couple of missed pings, the changes have taken effect. Let us now ping a VM. We see that the VM has already been migrated to the distributed switch. We look at the Recent Tasks column and see that everything has been reconfigured. We go to the Related Objects tab and see that all three hosts have been connected. We also see that the two VMs that we selected are also connected to the vSphere distributed switch now. This concludes our two-part demonstration on how to get started with VMware vSphere distributed switch. Thank you.